day long. We've been gathering information, working to learn more to tell you about a 15 year old who was shot and killed on South Third near South Parkway in South Memphis. WREG's Alan Self has been talking to the victim's mother and others who knew that young man and Alan. What's the latest tonight? Shay, the victim's mother told us 15 year old Victor Cooper was an honor roll student with a promising future. But I heard he was a good boy. He was doing doing good in school. It just at the wrong time. You can be here one day, then the next day you can be gone. It's sad. Teenagers in the South Memphis community remember Victor Cooper. Friends and family knew him as CB. We spoke with his mother, Marquita Cooper, who was too emotional to go on camera. But she wanted to make one thing clear. Her son was a good kid. She described him as a scholar who excelled in academics and says he wouldn't hurt a fly. She's heartbroken over his senseless death. CB was shot in the 1400 block of South 3rd Street and later died at the hospital. Police say CB knew his killer. When we arrived to the scene today, we saw two detectives investigating. They told us they were still trying to piece together what happened. South Memphis resident Ernie Shelton says he's lived in the area for over 70 years, and this is the worst it's ever been. It ain't never been like this. I'm scared of them. I am afraid of them. It ain't never been like this before. I am afraid of them, and it starts at home and it ends in the graveyard. A local teen named Kai says being a teenager today is a dangerous game. He says it's easy to get caught up in violence while doing nothing wrong. We can be some kids that's wearing hoods and folks just think we're probably trying to do something yeah. or get us mixed up with the wrong person and end up killing us. That's why every time I walk with something in a group with my friends, I be like, watch out or something. Just make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. Police are encouraging anyone with information about this case to come forward and call Crime Stoppers. For your news leader in the medical district, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.